Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17. I know iOS 17 is far away from being released. We're like what six months away from the release of the first beta and like nine months away from the release of iOS 17 to the public. But we do have some rumors that are going on and of course some informations regarding iOS 17 and what we can expect from this update. So in this video we're going to talk all about that, those new features, of course the release date and the supported devices for iOS 17. Now before I get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a quick favor. I'm noticing that most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more, please make sure to subscribe, it really helps out a lot. And we're starting with the features that we can expect to see on iOS 17. Now first of all, we have a report here on Twitter from Mayimbu, hopefully I'm pronouncing the name right. So according to him, according to his resources, Apple is working on a whole new version of the Messages app for iOS 17. And this new version will contain a new home, chat rooms, video clips, and also new chat features in AR. And of course, it says that this should be released next year alongside the new headset that is expected to come from Apple. So these are big new features that we're expecting to see for the Messages app on iOS 17. And we have some illustrations here. Of course, these are not like screenshots from iOS 17. These are just some illustrations to give you a kind of an idea of what could happen and how it could look. But again, of course, we're seeing that the Messages app, it also has some new features of course with iOS 16 there are new features coming to the messages app but it's not anything like big it hasn't changed like in a major way in quite a few years so we're expecting iOS 17 to bring a whole new messages app and when it comes to apps we now will be able to actually sideload apps with iOS 17. Now this is actually a done deal because the EU laws will actually just push Apple to do that. According to the EU laws, Apple has to allow competition. They will have to allow like third party app stores to be used on iPhones. And that has to be done by the next March. So March 2024, that has to be a done deal. So according to the EU laws, which again, Ha Apple has to just basically do that if they want their iPhones, of course, in EU, and that's quite a big market, so they will have to do that. And that is a big, big change that is coming to iPhone, probably one of the biggest changes to iOS since it has been released. So sideloading apps, apps from third-party app stores are coming, and that, of course, will come with iOS 17. Because again, by March 2024, that has to be done according to the EU laws. The same laws, of course, that will actually also make Apple put the USB-C type charger on the iPhones. That has to be done, and of course, sideloading has to be done. And this is like 99% sure that is coming with iOS 17. Now, of course, I'm expecting Apple to do that in EU, and I really expect them to do that worldwide because of course having that ability only on EU doesn't make sense. If they do it, they will do it for every other country. So hopefully this will come worldwide and we will finally be able to actually sideload apps on iOS 17. Now these are two really big new features that we have information of. We know that these are coming most likely to iOS 17. But what can we expect else from Apple? Now I'm expecting Apple to actually open up a bit on iOS 17, allowing maybe to modify the home screen, maybe even the ability to change the icons. And I also I'm expecting new icons for the apps on the home screen and an overall redesign of iOS 17. Now these are just my thoughts, what I expect Apple to do, because of course we don't have any leak or any rumor about that, but I really expect Apple to do an overall like new UI on iOS 17, because it has been quite some time with the same UI. Like since iOS 7, nothing big has changed. So I'm expecting again, a new UI for the apps from the home screen most likely a new control center. Now this has been a rumor for a long time now, like two or th the last two or three years, we had rumors of a new control center coming. It didn't come, it's the same 
for a long time now and it's actually not that good so i'm expecting this to change probably have a lot of new updates for the widgets and also the live activities on the lock screen because these are new features and hopefully apple will do some work on them add new features and of course make them better and hopefully they won't just like leave them just like they are just like they did with the home screen widgets because these are actually not that useful so hopefully we'll see also some changes on the home screen widgets as well and now let's talk about supported devices now this year apple dropped the iphone se the original one the iphone 6s and by surprise they also dropped the iphone 7 and the 7 plus so currently these are the devices supported by the latest ios software ios 16. so the oldest one will be the se second generation the se third generation and of course the oldest here the iphone 8 and the 8 plus now i would expect apple to actually do just go with the same list this year as well due to the fact they have dropped like three different devices this year including the iphone 7 and the 7 plus which i think are still good devices and they probably could run ios 16 but they dropped them so i'm not really expecting any big changes here this year as well hopefully they will still support the iphone 8 and the 8 plus a lot of people have those devices and of course they are still great devices so i'm expecting the same devices to be supported on ios 17 as they are on ios 16. Now, when it comes to release dates, of course, taking a look at history, taking a look at just the past few years, it's actually not that hard to just predict when we will see the first beta of iOS 17 and, of course, the public release. Unless something happens, these will most likely be the dates when you can expect iOS 17 to come out. First of all, the beta, the first beta, last two years, it was June 6th. This year, I'm expecting that to happen probably in the same way first week of june so that would put the first beta of ios 17 on june 5th right here maybe maybe june 12th but again they do the event wwdc 2023 will be on a monday so it should be most most likely june 5th right here or june 12th so the first half of june should be the time we will see the first beta of ios 17 and then probably like a month from that date towards the first week of june right here you will probably see the first public beta of ios 17 which of course the public can install and try out on their devices and when it comes to the public release of ios 17 usually it goes towards mid to the third week of september so this year i would expect apple to actually hold the event the new iphone event for 2023 of course like right here towards the middle of september maybe 11th or 18th should be the date when we see these devices just being like presented to the public and then of course as apple does usually if they present a device on the beginning of the week like monday that will be right here the the friday of that week will be the pre-orders and then of course the next week the devices ship out before they ship out they of course have to release the new software so i would expect the public release of ios 17 somewhere here like september 18th or 25th these are the two dates that i would expect apple to actually release ios 17 to the public so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are a few features that are rumored and are being reported to come to ios 17 of course the side loading thing that has to be done of course they have to compile to the law so that has to be done and of course the new features that we expect apple to actually bring to ios 17. nothing crazy of course just things that make sense and of course have to change because they haven't changed for a lot of years and of course when it comes to actual release dates for betas and public we know probably and if you like we can make mistakes of course that will be a matter of days but we know when the usual time is that apple releases betas and of course the public release so these are the dates that we can expect hopefully this year they won't drop any devices and the current devices will also support ios 17 that would be a good of course and a lot of people a lot more people of course can have ios 17 on their devices so that's basically it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos i will see you on the next one